This is a 28-day silver chart, which means that every single tick or each candle represents that of 28 days. Each one of these charts contains 100 different periods. Therefore, around 2,800 days has been the duration of this current long-term bull market. Now, within these 28 days, this is obviously an uptrend. But sometimes you'll have downtrends, sideways consolidations. After all, going from here to here, that's a downtrend. I've shortened this out, and I've found a total of seven uptrends, five downtrends, and five sideways movements. And I could find a lot more, especially when you consider the one-minute time frame. I could find thousands of uptrends, thousands of downtrends, and thousands of neutral markets. We're going to go through each one, the significant tops, significant bottoms, and uh, well, let's get started. So we go back and we're going to start off in the uh, time frame of uh, 2001. Coming into this period, this was a sideways consolidation. This is a two-month chart that takes us back to the uh, mid 19. 80s. So about 15 years, you can even come close to 20, of trading really between 4 and 6 for the most part. Yeah, it broke below 4 a couple of times, it broke above 6 a couple of times, but that was a sideways consolidation more than, more than anything. Therefore, let's take a look at what the daily chart looked like as the uh, bull market was about to start. And when you look at this just as the chart plays out, you can say to yourself, yeah, it's going to be bullish from here on in because, well, it's been testing this 406 level quite frequently, down below a declining 18 period average. But you're going to notice that every single time we bottom, then the, it's in a downtrend. And every single time it's top, it's going to top in an uptrend. So the first chart or the first direction would have uh, ended on July the 15th 2002 which obviously started in 2001. This is a two-day chart so each one of these candles represents two days. The bottom was here and this is the top. So therefore it's about 180 days in duration. What, you will, what we'll find out within this is there are many days that uh, are, or many uptrends that happen relatively quick. The downtrends, even quicker. And sideways consolidation, uh, slower. And that's what happened on the second uh, section. So we went from an uptrend to neutral. This was the top. And this was the point in which it would break out from. This was the last day I would consider the market to be in that of neutral. And this is a three-day chart, which means that's about uh, 300 days or so. There's about 250 trading days in a year. This sideways consolidation lasted a little longer than a year. The sideways consolidation then moved into a uptrend. This is another three-day chart again. So the bottom, right in here, the top, obviously at the very end. This is again a three-day chart which means this bull market was over a year in duration, but it really didn't get going until here. And you can make a case that this was an upward movement sideways, upward, down, up, down. And there's, like I say, there's thousands of up and down trends when you look at shorter term time frames. But the majority of the gains occurred in this October of 03, which means that that's October, November, December, and then three months in uh, 04, so about a half a year to go from about four and change, we'll say 470, up to 844. That's a gain of about 70% in less than uh, a few months anyway. So the next one from this bull market, and it has to go either sideways or down. You can't go from a bull market to a bull market, or it's just a continuation of the trend. But the next one was a down movement, obviously. As the price action, let me just go back, because was that what I wanted to move towards? Oh, 
this is the one I wanted to go to. So there we go. The downtrend was quick. This is a daily chart. And I could have done the 4-hour or 6-hour if I wanted to, and I could have, but I'm just going to keep it on daily. But this top, which occurred, obviously, at the start of April, it was two months to go from a top of over 8 to a bottom of about 5.5. So that's a loss of about 35 or so percent in that relatively quick period of time. Then, now we're back on track. So this is where the, it bottomed in here. And then a bull market happened, but this bull market didn't make it to its previous top. And if I'm looking at this chart without knowing, there is no way of knowing the top. And in fact, I would have been saying, I'm expecting it to come back to this previous top. Why? Because of Fibonacci retracement. We have this high, we have this low. We consolidated within the first Fibonacci, found a higher low. We consolidated again, this time finding support, which thus gave us a failed breakdown. Oftentimes from failed moves comes fast moves. There's a fast move up to this Fib level, which then found a higher low support. And then it had a nice uh, situation where it's finding support with this breakdown in here. And now it's broken above and we've broke this resistance. We've confirmed that it's going to this 845-ish, uh, 850 area. But it didn't do such a thing. So just because you confirm that to be the case, doesn't mean that it will, which is funny to say confirmation. But you say that in a state of probability odds being pretty good. Okay, next one, which comes from this bull market, would be a daily chart. Again, is this the next one on, on the list? It's According to this, it is. Okay, so we go from... Okay, I'm just collecting my thoughts here because I'm expecting this not to... I'm going to have to say this is really more of a neutral situation. But obviously, you had the move going up to 8. What's the date on this here? This is late 2004. What was the last one that I seen? Yeah, so that's it. This is where I, this is where I left off in here. So maybe I probably should have done the few hour chart, then I wouldn't have been as confused. So we left off in here. And a big big down move. In fact, this is a daily chart. So you have from the top, you had three periods or three days where you consolidated between a high seven change and eight. So about uh, a 20 cent difference or a 3-4% move, then boom, two periods, two days, where this thing just collapses, breaking down from about 780 down to about 650 and change. That's about $1.20, which is about uh, 18% two days. A lot of these movements can happen fast. And then you had this uh, bear flag. And you did have this breakout above this uh, triangle formation, but that was a failed breakout that had a very short, fast move because this was obviously the bottom, or I wouldn't have ended this date on January the 4th, 2005. So we go from that down move, and we're going to go to a sideways consolidation after that down move. So that's the down move in here. And this is as this pretty much defines neutral. Okay, you find resistance at this level, and you find support at this level. Pretty much, whenever you stay within this band, that's neutral. And it stayed within this band from this point in uh, early or mid-February to, obviously, the end of this, which is uh, August. So about six months or so of sideways consolidation. After the sideways consolidation came to a completion, there was a bull market, and it was a pretty extravagant, large bull market. This is a two-day chart, so from this bottom in here, which is where we left off the last time, it pretty much went straight up. Yeah, you have a small consolidation on time and price here, small price, you have a little bit here, a little bit here, a little here, very little bit here. And then you had this move, and a lot of people might have thought, well, this was the top, and, and they pretty much were right, even though technically this was the top. But from the breakout point on uh, this level here, from 6 and change, it went up to 1480. So it did better than double. And it did it in about, uh, 
under 400 days, so that's about a year and a half or so that the price doubled. So after the bull market, bull market came to a completion, well, again, another fast sell-off. Because this is where we came to a completion, and boom, down she goes. And this is a daily chart, so that's not that long. It Obviously, the top was uh, in May, about a month and change. Not long at all. Going from 15 or so down to 9. That's losing over one-third of its value in a relatively short period of time. After that bear market came to a complete completion, then we followed that up with uh, more sideways consolidation. Although, the last time I showed you, it stayed within the band. This isn't the case. But what happens is you establish a big high and you establish a big low. Question is, which one are you going to break first? And at this point, you would still be asking the questions. Now, uh, this is obviously the bottom in here. But truly a sideways movement, so I call that nothing more than a neutral chart. And again, just before we, uh, this is a four-day chart, by the way, which is important to note because this uh, ranges about 400 days minus all of this, so over 300 days of going sideways. And the next one will take us to a bull market that took us to 2008, where we finally hit the uh, 20 mark. And uh, this is a two-day chart, so the movement brings us up from about 11 up to about 21. And it did that in uh, under a year, about eight months, nine months or so. After that bull market came to a completion, we had a massive bear market in 2008. This is when everything seem to be collapsing. The price action really broke down below the support line. And you can state, okay, you go from a top here, and then from here to here, that's all neutral. And yeah, you're right. So it could work either way. But from this, after this sideways consolidation came to a completion, it just plummeted, breaking down below 16, losing half of its value from that point. And it did it in only a couple of months. After that bear market came to a completion in 2008, we had an up market. And the up market went up to, in a three-day chart, which is a little over a year, to this November high, or late November, early December high. It went up to this 18, 19 level. And then after that was some sideways consolidation. And within the sideways consolidation, there was one break, failed breakdown. And that was when we hit the uh, low of 14 and uh, two-thirds, basically. And then this time frame in here, just it was a long sideways consolidation, but it was pretty tight in the, in the up and down difference because it really never broke below 1750. It really never broke above... 19 so that's like a dollar and a half difference on 17 which is less than 10 percent so that was an extremely tight range and the tight range concluded on august the 24th which started the bull market that uh we've most recently had or the last one and the bull market obviously taken it to 50 this is a two-day chart so in about eight months price action pretty much tripled and then we're pretty much done now, as we're getting down to today. So after that uh, bull market came to a completion, then we had that of a, uh, a bear market. And this was a bear market. This is on the two-day chart. Yeah, it just happened to be a little over 100 days, so I had to make it two days. From this top to this bottom, it, went, it pretty much lost half its value. And, and big moves here. Big moves here, and that was it for the downward pressure. Because outside of those two moves, well, there was this sideways consolidation, this uptrend, and the sideways consolidation. Final one, and it's neutral. This is the one we're currently in right now. And we're going to be using a three-day chart for this one. So the bear market ended here. And now it's neutral. 
because we're in the sideways consolidation ranging between 26 and really 35. After this we'll have to become a uptrend or a downtrend. You cannot finish a sideways consolidation and then have another sideways consolidation. So therefore, if it's going to be an uptrend, then it has to at least be this low. Even though it's higher than this one here, it's where the breakout point happens to come from. With, will this be a breakout point? I really don't know. If it's a downtrend, as of now, it'll be this high. But it really needs to break down to 24-ish at least, if not 23, for me to state that this consolidation is over. And for an uptrend, I really need to see this hit 39.40 for me to state that the consolidation period is over. But I do realize that it's going to go up, and then it's got to go, got to go sideways or down, and, and it's going to go back and forth. A lot of it is like a chess game, to say the least. Okay, I did this quicker than I wanted to, and uh, I'm happy about that. So thank you for tuning in. Again, this is the up and down moves. And I'm just stating this to show that just because we've been in this downtrend for a long time, people seem to always think just because it's, we've capitulated so much, we've been in a downtrend for so long, it's going to stay that way. Which is obviously the same case in an uptrend because we've had so many large gains and just it can't correct. Well, that's false. Obviously, we're seeing it within these types of... Uh, these examples in here and when you see these tops and bottoms a lot of times you don't even know them until after the fact that's why I'm saying I don't know if this is the bottom I don't know if this is the top but later on I'll be able to find out and thank you for tuning in bye bye